Before we get started, check out our sponsor, chcadels.com. Get all of your survival and outdoor gear exclusively at CH Cadells. Check out their survival foods, watches, M48 Ops gear, and the Life Straw personal water filter. That's chcadels.com. Always be prepared. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, January 15th, 2015, and a huge move today in the foreign exchange markets, the Forex market, the currency market uh, that makes up this currency war. The Swiss franc depegs itself from an artificial peg to the euro and soars as a consequence up 30% at one point. I think it settles up about 15%. We're now seeing the euro on its way down to reach a parity with the Swiss franc. What's interesting about this is they specifically depeg the Swiss franc, which traders use and have historically used as a safe haven, kind of like gold, one of the stronger currencies in the basket of currencies. They specifically decouple ahead of the January 22nd ECB meeting where people are getting together in Europe, Angela Merkel, head of Germany, and are likely to launch a multi-trillion the start of a multi-trillion dollar quantitative easing package. Again, riding the coattails of what we've experienced here in the United States, faking growth with 0% interest rates and buying your own debt, buying your own bonds, buying your own mortgage-backed securities. Essentially a con game. That's what drove the market to Dow 18,000 and which has since been in collapse mode. Oil prices off 60% in just a couple of months. We saw a huge move in copper yesterday. The commodity bubble that the Federal Reserve had engineered as a result of all these policies and financial shenanigans and gang banging is coming to an abrupt end. So it'll be very interesting to see what the ECB does next week. On Thursday, January 22nd, I'm expecting a massive, more than likely trillion dollar plus stimulus program uh, due to the fact that Europe nations and the 19 member eurozone is experiencing deflation they are experiencing zero percent growth and real negative interest rates and this is a threat to global financial markets and markets around the world also extremely notable is the 10-year bond in the united states of america is at extreme lows dipping below 1.8 percent and trading today at one point now i want you to put this in perspective if you had a million dollars uh, in 1981, the 10-year bond paid you 15%, a 15% yield. That would mean if you were retired and you invested a million dollars, they'd pay you $150,000 a year in annual income. If you're a millionaire today and you invest a million dollars of your hard-earned cash into the same bond, it'll pay you $18,000 roughly. You're below the poverty line in the United States of America. Think about it, a millionaire in poverty as a result of these Federal Reserve shenanigans. Uh, again, what's really interesting about this is it's showcasing the currency war taking place right now. Of course, all of this about the petrodollar. We've talked about this exclusively on AMTV. It's why oil prices have been artificially manipulated. Arguably above $100 a barrel oil, and now they're being artificially manipulated by Saudi Arabia, the United States. It's putting pressure on our enemies, Russia, China, the BRICS nations, etc. All of this due to a move, a move away from the petrodollar as the reserve currency, pricing oil as it has been for years. Uh, so we're gonna see increased volatility, I believe, in the markets. I think this is gonna be a continued theme and pay close attention to what the ECB does next week. Because again, all these QE packages really are catastrophic long-term. Uh, it's really a form of indentured servitude. It's why we have an $8 trillion plus national debt here in the United States of America. It's why we are at the brink of war. Iran warning this week that there will be severe consequences for countries, allies of the United States like Saudi Arabia for artificially pushing these prices lower. Again, don't believe Saudi billionaires telling you it has nothing to do with Russia or Iran's nuclear program. Uh, or countries like Venezuela, of course, has everything to do with these countries and a global uh, destabilization effort uh, with much of this focus taking place in recent months in Ukraine. I also expect the tensions to increase in Ukraine, centered around Russia and the war that the United States is currently fighting, having since toppled the rightful democratically elected leader and government, Viktor Yanukovych. As we approach spring and things warm up a little bit, expect those tensions to escalate. Uh, so geopolitical risk is at a high point. I don't think we've seen this since the last cold, cold war, arguably World War II, and it's reaching ahead. 
Again, this currency war, uh, the market action today, absolutely unprecedented. What we're seeing in the bond market with the 30-year bond hitting an all-time record low for the first time in the history of the world, in the history of America, and the 10-year notably trading below 1.8% is a record-breaking event. Uh, and it's signaling a warning sign uh, to the world, uh, to the global economy, as these geopolitical events and this economic war turns into a real one. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting it in your face. And click the link below to support our sponsor.